Hello, everyone. I am here with another free digital. Um, and this one is little circles. I have one inch circles and three quarters of an inch circles. And you can do many things with these. You can use them as ephemera to decorate your tags or whatever you have. But I'm going to use them with the idea of a button in mind. And that's kind of how I made them. Um, that's how I put the designs on there with an idea of it being a button type of thing. Now I have them, you can print them on just regular uh, good quality paper. I have print, uh, I print them on the Espen presentation paper that's a little bit more heavier weight. And I'll list down below a um, link to that, um, you know, just in case you're interested in it. I like it. It's, it's not quite as cardstock. It's close to it though. And that's what I've printed them on. And I'm just going to do a few here and give you some tips and tricks on how to use them. Now, the smaller ones here are just a little bit larger than the three-fourths of an inch, just, just a tad, so that I wanted to uh, make sure that depending on, you know, your punch, because some punches, even though they say a certain me measurement, sometimes they just vary tiny, tiny bit. And your printer. You know, I print these fit to page, uh, but anyways, I just made them slightly larger. And some of them look like a button, um, a button type of surface that you would find, and other ones have little images on them, which I thought was kind of a fun idea as well. So let's put a few of these together. Uh, this one here is, oops, it's an inch, I need my inch punch. And I'm going to come in here and punch this out, centering in that little object. So some of these button images um, are really easy as far as putting the holes in, the button holes in. And I have here a 1 8 of an inch hole punch. I love this and I do use it quite a bit, uh, even for other things. But if you don't have that, that's no problem. You can use your awl to do the same thing. And uh, so these here are a little bit easier because you can kind of look at the design you, you can kind of see where the center is and uh, you can see that this is the center and you just put your two little holes in there on each side and then you have your holes in the in the um, in the button now that's not and I wouldn't worry about getting that perfect because I think the design really kind of takes away from where the holes are exactly um, and so some of these are easy to do that way. Some of them are a little different. So if we have this image, let's just punch out this image here. And I'm kind of trying to center up that little design around it. Like so. All right, and I'm going to put, I want my button to be sewn in this way. So that's the other thing you need to uh, kind of watch out for is how is your button going to be sewn in and you just eye that up there all right and you're going to sew it in this way then of course you'll want your uh, holes to be uh, that way across the horizontal uh, to your image so you don't have to put holes in them, of course. You can definitely use these as ephemera, as I mentioned before, and not use them as buttons. But I thought it was really kind of fun to do that. Now I have, um, once I've done this, even though these are printed on a type of cardstock, I like to mount them again on a plain piece of cardstock. Just, excuse me, sorry about that. Just to make them a little bit more uh, solid. And when you glue this on, be careful not to use too much glue because you will sort of, if you have too much glue, it will kind of warp the button just a tad. So I'm going to glue these on like that. And you might even want to put on a second, um, a second layer of cardstock, just depending on how you're going to be using it, if you think it might get... Uh, wrinkled or you know just what are you trying to, to do there you know if you're just putting it on paper I don't think it'd be a problem but sometimes if it's on cloth too thick of a cloth it can kind of fold it and then I would 
I would distress the edges just to tone down your cardstock, whatever that might be, if you feel like you need to. And then we see we already have the holes there, so I'm just going to take my awl and carefully, you know, make sure you're not pin, um, poking your fingers and just carefully, carefully. This probably would be the easiest way so that you don't bend your button. And we're just going to poke it in there. There we are, and we have the holes in there. So I could have done this without without the punch for sure. And there you go. Now there's going to be some warping because that is your wedding paper. So you can also put these underneath something heavy overnight if you want them even flatter. But now it's ready to be sewn into, you know, your little, um, whatever you've got. If you're, doing, if you're doing snippets or whatever, you can just sew that right in. Now you can go a step further than this, even though this is quite cute. You can go a step further and by putting on some glossy accents. And there's other products that do the same thing. This is the one that I'm using. And so I have a piece of paper here that stickers were on, so it's like a waxy, no stick surface. So you might want to use parchment paper or uh, wax paper uh, to lay this on just so that you can you know, not glue it to something. And you just merely get out your um, glossy accents. And then I just start from the center and I just keep on making little circle passes around that center filling in as much as i can and then get to the point where you're going to need to hold it down with a pin or a needle um, something of that nature and just keep filling in where all the paper is coming up there where you can you can you can see this you probably in real life it's probably a little bit more difficult to see that in the camera but I'm just going around now I'm not worried about too many bubbles and I know that's something that um, can you know depending on what you're working on can be a problem as you know, you're trying to avoid that of course by filling in all these little gaps but I have found that with the design on the button, unless you look at it super closely, you really don't see those bubbles if, if they do occur. So this is all filled in and then I would let this dry uh, overnight for sure. But you know, because you want it nice and hard when you get done. Now I have done one already here. And here's one I did yesterday. So it just kind of makes the, let's see if we can see it a little bit better here. It kind of makes the um, image, it, it enhances it, makes it more vivid. And it also gives you a shiny, firm uh, surface that looks more button-like. So that is something I did. Now it will, <clears throat> Even though this is like a layer of cardstock on here, it did warp, but that's okay because you can put it on another layer. What I like to do is I like to get cereal boxes. This is a cereal box hole being punched out with a hole. And I am going to glue this onto here. Like so. Get a decent amount there. I'm going to glue these together. All right, and so yes, the glue is coming through, but that's okay. We can just wipe that away later. But I'm gluing it down. And you could also wait to do the whole punches after you've done all this gluing together as well. You can also do that if you'd like to. And then all we have to do, we put this over here so I don't mess it up. Then all you have to do is take your awl or your punch.
punch those holes all right out like that and you have a cute little button we can put that on our little whatever we got oh and then you might want to go around and yeah kind of use your distress ink or whatever to cover up that color a little bit or to uniform it out a little bit of course you've got this here in the back um, it shouldn't be a problem if you're sewing the button on something you can always cover it up again with paper if, if you want to cover that up and now we're ready to sew the button in like so and what I like to do of course you want to make sure you're catching all your layers I like to go in this way save a little bit of a tail come back up like this and then I might go back in again we go come back up like this and then just snip that off and then tie it it's just a look you know you can not do this of course but it's just something I kind of like to do just to give it a little bit more interest there and you really could put in more strands in fact if you used embroidery floss that's even better because you could fray the strands a little bit and have even more uh, little ties sticking up there so there we go so there we go there's the little button already sewn on and I think it's very cute now the nice thing and one more thing one more thing I wanted to share and that is uh, if you want to use this button let's say you want to use it like like so you want to use it as part of a closure right of whatever you got going there uh, I would put two layers of the cereal box cardboard behind the button because this is this is pretty good I mean you know you really can't really you could if you forced it but it's it's pretty stable but I think with two of these it would be like a regular button, uh, be very strong, and you could, you could uh, definitely do that. You can do the um, string tie with that. Do one with an image that doesn't have an obvious center. Let's do one more like that again. Let's do this bird. I love this bird. All right, and so when I punch, when I punch out something, you know, with an image, I make sure I get as much of the image as I can. I don't worry about the rest of the button. And if I'm going to do the center on that, let's do it with the all. Let's let's do it with the all to see what that looks like. So I know the I know the center is here, but I don't want to punch his eye out, right? That would be really bad. So I let me just, you know, play with how I'm going to put these holes in. So here's I know this is the center, so I'm just going to go over a little bit on this side. And I'm going to push in just so I can make a, up, up my awl to make a hole. And it's a very nice hole. And then I know the center is right about here, and I'm just going to go a little bit to that side and push push this in there we go all right and then i will go and i will glue on my cardboard or whatever i'm using and punch through those holes again so you can see that oh, i hope you can see that my goodness my camera is just not cooperating today um the holes look very well i mean they don't look any different than using the punch really so yeah using the all i think works out really well for this so that's it i hope you enjoy this and let me let me know down below if you have found other uses to use these circles and uh, these little fun pieces and uh, how your buttons turned out so thanks a lot for viewing and we will take see you real soon bye